What's up guys? Thanks for coming to Gaming Canada with me. My name's Phil and today we're going to be streaming our PC game library to the Wii U gamepad or a TV with up to four working pro controllers. This is going to be achieved using Moonlight Wii U created by Gary Odernights. I'm sure many of you are familiar with Moonlight and it's possible you've already used it in the past to stream Steam games to your Android phones, but essentially it's an open source implementation of Nvidia's game streaming through the GeForce Experience app and is normally to be utilized by an Nvidia Shield. Game streaming was reverse engineered to work on any Android device and so Moonlight was born and now ported over to the Wii U. In this video I'm only going to be showing the Nvidia version of this tutorial but there is an AMD version called Sunshine that I will leave a link to in the description in case you guys aren't on Team Green. Before we get started you're going to need a Wii U with the homebrew launcher, a PC with an Nvidia GTX or higher graphics card and they both have to be on the same network. It's also best to have them both on LAN cables but I've got a really nice modem and I haven't noticed a ton of performance issues over the Wi-Fi. If this is something you are going to be utilizing in the future it might be best to pick up a LAN adapter like this one for your Wii U so I'll leave an affiliate link in the description for one that will work on Wii U and as a bonus it also works on your Nintendo Switch. Last thing, make sure you check the pinned comment below to see if an update has happened in Moonlight Wii U because at the time of making this video the newest version 3.22 of GeForce Experience breaks controller functionality and it's best to downgrade to version 3.21 or 3.20 before even attempting this. I'll leave a link in the description to a short video on how to do that as it's a bit tricky. After the tutorial I'm going to attempt to play a multiplayer game with the gamepad as player 1 and the pro controller as player 2, then I'm going to disable the gamepad and use the pro controller as player 1. This does support up to 4 pro controllers with the gamepad disabled and 3 with the gamepad as player 1, but unfortunately I only have one pro controller to test out. Now that that's sorted hit the like, make sure you subscribe for more and let's get this started. First up, head to the link in the description and go over and download Wii U port version 1.1 of Moonlight Wii U. Go ahead and open that up in your downloads. Take out your Wii U's SD card, put it into the computer and go ahead and open up the root. Right click Moonlight Wii U and use 7-zip to extract it to here. This will give you a Wii U folder. Go ahead and drag and drop that into your Wii U's SD card and merge it with your other Wii U folder. As you can see, I now have Moonlight installed on my Wii U's SD card. Go ahead and open up Moonlight, and then right click Moonlight.conf and hit edit. First thing you're going to want to do is notice that there's hashtags before all of these. All you got to do is remove that to make the line activated. So go ahead and put in your computer's IP address here. It should start with 192.168. Now video streaming configuration. Go ahead, hit backspace on that, backspace on that, and backspace on that. Leave it for 1280 by 720 and leave it at 60 FPS. Backspace on disable gamepad, and if it's true, then your gamepad won't work and the first pro controller connected will be first player. And if you change it to false, the gamepad will be first player and any other pro controllers you add will be second, third, and fourth. Swap buttons so they match an Xbox controller layout instead of a Nintendo controller layout. Go ahead and remove that and leave that on true if that's what you would like. On bitrate what I like to do is activate that line and set it to 5000. Activate packet size down here you can put in any app you like but I liked it to activate through Steam so I go ahead and activate that line. Local audio this will allow it to play on your PC instead of your gamepad. Go ahead and leave that on false if you would like the audio on your gamepad. Quit app after closes Steam automatically, so if you're worried about losing game progress in case the program crashes, go ahead and leave that on false. Activate this line and activate this line, leave them both on false. Go ahead and save. Now eject your Wii U's SD card safely from your computer and go ahead and put it into your Wii U. Load up the homebrew launcher and I'll meet you guys on there. I've got my Wii U pulled up next to my desktop. As you can see, I have Moonlight.RPX pulled up, ready to load. And on my PC, I've opened up GeForce Experience. What you need to do is go ahead and click on the settings gear. On the left hand panel, go down to Shield, and then click on Game Stream. This is going to allow your PC to stream games to Shield devices, which our Wii U now is. We're going to go ahead and launch Moonlight on the Wii U. It connected to my computer. What you need to do is press the B button. Now on your PC in the bottom right corner of your monitor, you should see a request from Nvidia saying that a shield is requesting to connect to your PC. Go ahead and type in the number you see on your Wii U screen and click connect. Successfully paired. It's now gonna take you back to the home screen. 
and now press the A button and you're ready to start streaming. I'm gonna go ahead and press A and it should automatically launch my Steam. It's now loaded up on my Wii U. This is, this is so nutty, this blows my mind, this kind of stuff, I love it. Okay, we're down here on the Wii U gamepad now. As you can see, controls are working perfectly after the GeForce Experience downgrade. We can go ahead and click on Library. I hit the wrong button, I broke it. Well, as you guys might have saw, it just crashed on me. Stuff like that happens. So what I'm gonna go do is gonna try to launch my library again. Perfect, all right, let me see if I can launch Fortnite here. Let's go. I've got the game up on the computer, streaming perfectly. As you can see, I can control it, the gamepad, and the input lag is barely noticeable. I'm gonna go ahead and load into a creative map and just show you guys a little bit. And then I'm gonna cut to some clips of some other games. Here we are, we can do a few edits. As you can see, I've added Rocket League. I'm gonna use it as my multiplayer test. I've re-enabled the gamepad, but one thing I just wanna show you guys, in case you're having trouble with the controllers on specific games, add them to Steam, as I've done here with Rocket League. This is actually my Epic Games version. I've gone ahead and added it as a shortcut, and now I go to Manage Shortcut, Controller Options, and I wanna make sure my global settings are set to my Xbox controller. I'm gonna go ahead and hit OK. Now I'm going to go ahead and launch the game and see if I can get both these controllers working. If you're still having problems getting the controller to work, I recommend going into your programs and seeing if you have the Nefarious Virtual Gamepad Emulation bus driver installed. Go ahead and uninstall that and then restart your computer and then go ahead and try everything again. Gamepad seems to be working. Let's see if I can hit start on the second player controller. And there we go. I've joined in. No way. This is unreal. I've loaded into training on Rocket League, as you can see. I've got control of the second player with the Wii U Pro Controller. And I can control the first player with the game pad. No way, dude. This works so well, I just can't believe it. Let's go guys. Well, I guess that's about it. I hope you guys are now playing some PC games on your Wii U, either up on your TV or on your gamepad, streaming from your PC. Absolutely nuts. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. This is one of the coolest things to happen to the Wii U and it really puts it up there for the homebrew community. If you guys could, please go down and leave a comment. It really helps the video get out there. If you have any ideas for videos, please let me know. The next video I have coming out is actually a chair review from Bullies. They were nice enough to send me out a chair. They noticed I've been sitting on this metal dining room chair for who knows how long and they thought they'd hook me up. So if you guys please could, please click that next video and it would really help me get other products sent from other companies. Much love. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.